my friends! It's Tatum, and in today's video I'm going to be doing my very first winter makeup tutorial. Um, and it's going to be using some new products that arrived in the mail. So I'm so excited for this tutorial. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so I already have my... I've only used moisturizer on my face, so... Um, to prime my eyes today, I'm going to use the new Milk Makeup Flex Conceal Concealer <laughs> in the shade. I have it in the shade Fair, so I'm going to use this to prime my eyes. And then to blend it out, I'm going to use one of these, um, So yeah, this is going to be kind of like a chit chat get ready with me kind of video. I always love watching those. Do you guys like watching those? Okay. So now I'm going to dip in. This yeah. So Bad Habit came out with this new eyeshadow palette and it's called Athena. It's a dupe for the Huda Huda Beauty palette eyeshadow palette, um, and this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Um, and when I think of like winter, I think of blues and purples. Um, so I'm gonna use the shade Pure Purity to set the concealer down. And to do that, I'm going to take my Real Technique setting brush. Um, and I don't plan on buying anything from Huda Beauty in the future. Because she, her line says that they're cruelty free, but they're not. Because, and that's why I got this instead because um, Bad Habit is cruelty free. Um, this does have um, some pickup but that's okay. It doesn't bother me. There's no like fallout so that's that's good. Um, so Huda Beauty like, uh, has been telling their customers they are cruelty free but they sell okay they sell what they call fo folk fake mink lashes but they're actual real mink lashes they're not fake and it really irritates me because that's not that's not cool you're lying to your customers and you're also harming animals which is very mean and just that just breaks my heart so I was very excited to see this um and so for the crease let's see I'm gonna take the shade Oops, Velour, Velour, right here, and I'm going to be using my, Luxie Beauty 229 Taper Blending Brush. And this is, I actually got this off of the Shop Hush app. Um, and I got this for $10. And the pigmentation so far is amazing. And there's no, like, creasing happening. It's blending really nicely, as you can see. Um, and so now I'm going to go into the shade truth and I'm going to use that to deepen the crease this palette that they created was inspired by um, a goddess which I think is amazing and I think that's what the names like represent as like goddess like terms like Fierce, Trump, Vlor, Purity, Truth, Heroic, 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 
Gleam, Epic, Medusa, Justice, Lore, Power, Clever, Daring, you know, terms you usually think of when you think of like goddesses or superheroes. So it's like along that theme. Really nice. are blending really nicely so now what I'm gonna do is dip into my Anastasia prism palette um, and I'm gonna be using the shade this is what it looks like I'm sure you have seen it because it's probably all over YouTube <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be using the shade dimension this color this beautiful like whoops blue color and I'm gonna use that um on the like inner port por portion of the lid and I'm gonna use a purple from the Athena palette I'm gonna use my finger I think Anastasia comes out with the most innovative palettes like they can really bring out your creative side or you can um, do just like natural, easy, everyday looks too. So yeah, I'm just applying this in the like inner par portion of my eye and then leaving this part bare for the purple. Because, like, when I think of, like, winter, I think of blues, purples, whites, silver. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to build it up. And there's no fallout. So far. It could be, it could be because I'm using my finger. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not. All I know is that I'm happy there's no fallout on my face. <laughs> um, and so now, going back into the Bad Habit Athena palette, and I'm going to take this beautiful whoa, purple, purple shade in Epic, and I'm going to use my, on my ring finger. And that's so pretty. I'm actually going to take some of Wisdom so it wasn't as dark as I'd like it. There we go. would be interesting to try with a brush. So I'm going to try it with my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and I'm going to deep, <laughs> deep, I'm going to dip into the color, I'm going to mix these two, the Epic and Wisdom colors, these two. What? Ah! These two right here. Come up just as pigmented. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so pretty. The only thing I would say that kind of bothers me a little bit is the smell, but that's it my honest oh this is a I'll use the brush that comes with it as I'm looking at it the shades from the Athena palette aren't as metallic as I like they have good color payoff but it's not like as metallic as I like maybe that's because I used a brush Maybe it's best to use these with your finger. Oh yeah. 
So I would suggest using these um, eyeshadows with your finger to get the best color payoff, which is fine. <laughs> now I'm just going to go back into the blue color again. All right, I'm gonna use the other side just to make sure everything is blended. I'm gonna take for the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia Prism palette, and I'm gonna take the shade called Lucid. I'm gonna take that on my EXO Beauty pencil brush apply that to the inner corner my ColourPop gem cream gel liner in Swerve and I'm going to use this to um, do my lower lash line and then the top as well So now I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply mascara. Okay, I'm going to use the Seate London Wonder Wand Mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to do... Hmm, should I do foundation today yeah since this is so dramatic look we should I should go with that, huh? I'm gonna use the bare minerals bare pro performance wear liquid foundation I really like it it's in the shade fair and I'm gonna use an also one of the brushes that come in the set I think the brand is MODA I can't remember what it stands for but I know they are cruelty free so I'm going to do three pumps. And so I'm going to use the same concealer that I used to prime my eyes. And then to blend it out, I'm going to use this, use this brush that came in the, uh, the same set and all right, to set everything, I'm going to take my NYX HD Finishing Powder and Banana and my Milani Prep Set Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I'm going to use the NYX HD Banana underneath my eyes and the Illuminating Setting Powder around the rest of my face. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk number 4 brush. All right, I'm gonna take my Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Powder in the same brush and just apply this. Okay. 
Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the Athena palette and I'm going to just run along the shade Truth and Clever mixed together. All right, now so to bronze up the face so I don't look so pale, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to take my Eagle Tools Precision that Smells so good. Yeah, Precision Brush. Now just to warm the face up a little bit more, I'm going to take my makeup Revolution London Vivid Bake Bronzer in the shade Golden Days and put that on top. Okay, so for now for blush, I'm going to take this new blush kit from Anastasia in the shade Radiant. It's so pretty, guys. Look how pretty. And I think I'm going to take this shade, I think, right here. And the shade Terror, Terror, Terrace. Just, and use the same brush. Tap it once. It just gives it a nice, healthy flush to the cheeks. Oh, that's so pretty. So, for highlighter, I don't think I have any. Actually, I'm going to use the Revolution Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. I think this will really look pretty. This reminds me of the Makeup Forever highlighters, but Makeup Revolution is cruelty free, so. Really pop. And now just to set all the powders down in place, I am going to take my Mario. This is new to me and I've heard really good things about it. Um, the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. To make the highlighter a little more metallic, because it's still a little bit wet, I'm going to apply some more highlighter. Because, why not? Alright, so now... For the last step is the lips and then we'll be all done. Um, so for shade Aquarius, the Kathleen Lights in um, ColourPop collaboration. All right, you guys, that's, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think this is a really pretty winter look. 
I'm going to be wearing this a lot during the winter. Alright, so I hope you guys liked today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have a good night or day wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.